everybody, it's Alex. So I'm here today with a haul. It's not my fault that I'm addicted to shopping. Actually, it is, but who cares? Um, so lately, I've just, I love Mac so much. Like, I've always loved Mac, but it's really like my favorite brand. And I've discovered that recently. Like, if I'm going to spend money on something... It's probably going to be MAC, like, for makeup, because I, I just love it. Um, I also love Benefit, too, because of this professional awesomeness. But, yeah, anyways. So, I'm going to show you some stuff that I got at MAC, and also I found the perfect Angela Chase slippers. Like, house, not house shoes, but, you know, like, the moccasin. That's the word I'm looking for. They're little moccasins, and they're so awesome. So, you know, if you like my so-called live too, you might be interested in these little moccasins. Alrighty, so, I got this awesome eyebrow pin. Um, usually, well, lately, like a few months ago, I wasn't really filling in my eyebrows. And then recently, like the past two weeks, I've started filling them in with powder. And then I was like, I really want something that's really, really easy. Because, um... I'm a huge procrastinator in the morning, like I watch Full House and Dr. Phil until like the last possible second and then I have like 15 minutes to get ready, which when you're a little old grandma like me, that's not a lot of time because I'm really slow when I do things. So yeah, I wanted something that's all in one, you know, I don't have to like find the color, then find the brush I want to use, and then blah blah blah, you know, and then if I need a mix color, you know, like it can get crazy stupid like sometimes how complicated I make doing your brows <laughs> but anyways this is the MAC um, Flux brow liner and this is the one it's really cool it has a little spoolie on the end and uh, my colors brunette but so it has the pencil and it's not like a twist up or anything you sharpen it yourself which I don't mind at all on I really prefer that it's a sharpen type kind because I feel like these last a lot longer like I know you lose product when you sharpen it however I feel like the twist up ones I feel like they just you're always having to twist them up like they're always like like you go through them a lot faster I don't know if that's just me but anyways so yeah you just do your brows and then you comb them through and bam you're done and it's cool because when you comb them through that like disperses the product so you know you feel like it all gets blended in it looks a lot more even um i have it on my brows right now and my brows get really sparse towards the end which my makeup's kind of worn off from today but um that's why i like it because i feel like i have like two-thirds of an eyebrow sometimes. Okay, so anytime I go to MAC, there's these two girls that I just absolutely love there. Well, now I'm starting to really like this other girl. But, um, so three people I really like. Um, there's this one MAC I go to, and they're just so friendly. Like, they totally, like, punch the face of the stereotype of MAC people, my, like, MAC workers being douchebags, pretty much. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, she was super awesome. She has real... Whoa, I think there was a deer that, like, just jumped into the woods outside of my house. Anyways, um, I was telling her that I have really dry skin and, um, I have to exfoliate every day or else my skin is, like, super dumb if I apply foundation onto it. And, uh, I was telling her I use the St. Ives exfoliator and she told me that, um, one of the girls that also works at MAC with her used to work at Origins and the St. Ives kind that I use actually can, um, like it works really good in the moment, but it damages your skin really bad. And so, um, she gave me a sample previously for the Kiehl's brand, but it just was not strong enough. And so then she gave me a sample of the MAC Volcanic Ash Exfoliator. I'm like, whoa, that is so badass sounding. And it looks so cool. Like, if this could be some kind of, like, Terminator Exfoliator, this would win the prize. Um, it looks like this black tar but it's so cool I haven't used it yet but I'm just like so excited to use it but yeah I always love it when that uh, one lady helps me because she's so informative and she'll give me little samples like I don't even have to ask for them she's just so like nice about things and you know she kind of knows the predicament I'm in because she also has really dry skin and you know it's cool because I've struggled with it for like a year now and it just really sucks um so yeah, that's why I just love her because she's just awesome. I picked up Layin' Low, which 
this color, it looks a lot more, um, I don't know how to describe it, just a bit like darker in person, but it's not like a dark color. Uh, so I'm going to try that out. And I also picked up Indian Wood, which I have on my lids right now. Oh my gosh, this color, it makes doing like, um, almost like Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen-esque like smoky eyes like I have on right now so easy and I just love this color it's the most beautiful metallic gold <sighs> I just love it and the last thing I picked up from MAC is the um, lip pencil in mahogany and it's just a very pretty dark brown I don't know if you, or not dark brown dark a uh, reddish brown Nick and I were at the mall and we went into this shoe store I just I honestly hate this shoe store it's journeys I don't know if that's like all across the US or if it's in any other countries but basically it's just a dumbass shoe store <laughs> like for lack of a better word like seriously a bunch of like idiots work there and I don't mean idiots in the sense like that they're stupid I mean they are kind of dumb but they are just so arrogant and like it's weird like they act like they're vultures because you can tell that they work on commission just by how they act. But they're just like vultures. But then at the same time, they're like jerks to you. And I don't get it. I'm like, don't you want me to buy from you? So quit being a douche. Like, I don't get it. And then they act like they're so like cool. And they're not. They're just like your typical Jersey Shore jerk. Like, it just makes me want to barf either that or they're like a skater type of a jerk okay so these are the moccasins oh my gosh I love them so much they're by the brand mini Tonka I think that's how you say it but um yeah they're just the, I think they're called the chocolate color and they were on sale for 40 bucks which I know is still expensive but they were normally 55 so that's better than 55 but um I just remember this one scene in my so-called life where Angela she's wearing like light washed just straight jeans she has on moccasins and a sweater and I mean that is just I'm so gonna recreate that look like a thousand times for the fall and winter okay so that's everything I hope that you guys are doing really well and I'll talk to you very soon bye